Hello everyone and welcome to a From the Depths tutorial. Now this one is going to be, as you might be able to tell in front of me, covering uh, some engines and some designs I've uh, come up with. Um, basically, uh, I have been fiddling around with the uh, engines pretty much since they were updated and I kind of noticed that people's engines designs were always gravitating towards trying to be uh, kind of insanely powerful um, and large and all these things, but I've never really noticed like the high efficiency designs uh, be they Excuse me, I'm talking here. Can you not? We are in the middle of a resource zone. Hang on. Let me just bring up my GY again <laughs> I'm just gonna have a look at this is yeah dangerous gas percentage is going up So if I like lower the whole fortress Okay, so raising it reduces the get dangerous gas percentage. Never mind then. I don't mind raising the entire platform. So, that will be explain why I exploded. Right, so, let's come out of this mode and let's go around the various engines. So, the very first one I have here is a very, very, very small engine. Actually, you know what? No, no, why am I showing off this design? No, no. I have to show off the development process. So, the very first design we're going to go to go for is this one over here, basically, which is, um, I was watching Ireland's, Ireland Gaming's, uh, video, him and Ruger were running around, I, I apologize if I'm butchering these names, uh, were running around on engines, and basically I tried to copy one of their designs, and this is a close approximation to what I came up with, with a couple of tweaks of my own. Basically, what happened is I copied the design of having, uh, many, 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 um, turbo chargers. Is it turbo chargers or is it? <sighs> Tur yeah, turbo chargers uh, attached to carburetors and cylinders. But I also noticed the whole, they have exhausts coming out of them, and I knew that we had inline turbo chargers. Then I was told that the inline, the black part of the inline turbo charger does not have to be attached to a cylinder, only to a, uh, only the white part to a carburetor. So, I fiddled with getting the exhausts coming out of all the car, uh, the turbochargers and funneling them all into uh, into the inline turbochargers, providing an, a significant boost. And as you can see by the stats on this sign, you get 440 fuel of um, power per fuel at 100%, 258 at 50%, and 157 at 10%. That's good. That's pretty damn good. And I, I, that's what I have um, been using in, uh, in my designs. I originally used their, I used their original design and my design to power pretty much all of my fortresses. However, that wasn't proving to, um, I, I wanted to know if it could be taken further. So basically, the next thing stage I did was I wondered what would happen if you took the exhaust coming out of the inline uh, turbocharger and just looped it back on itself because it does have exhaust coming out so surely you know, maybe more exhaust gassing flowing through it means it's more efficient so and that's what I did over here uh, basically the exhaust gases come from the other three turbochargers and they all get funneled into the inline one and then it just gets looped back on itself there is no actual exit they are looped until they're consumed as you can see 253 exhaust gases are passing through this thing. It seems a bit broken, but the numbers actually only improve marginally. However, the lower end improves quite a lot. So we get uh, about a 44 increase at 100% in power per fuel. However, the mid-range and the low end get a humongous boost. So we go from 157 at 10%, all the way up to 283. There is not a single... Ah, uh, there's there is not a single one of those low end ones in sight. I'm I'm struggling with names today. I really am. Supercharger. There was not a single supercharger in sight, and yet we're getting 283 at 10%. Now, obviously, this I think this might actually be a bit of a bug or unintended. Regardless, if it isn't brilliant, if it is and it gets patched out, this still works brilliantly. It's a very good design. Um, but this is really tileable as well. Um. So you can just shove them all on top of each other, and obviously large engines have mass of its power, so you know you stick more of these on top of each other. But really, because they're that efficient, what you have to do is just stick more actual engine blocks on them, and you just stack these for days. They are nine by nine by three, and they provide uh, 1,600 power each. I think it is. Just go to the engine itself. Oh no, 800 power each. So each of those cylinders are providing 200 power. 
And there's two carburetors attached to each of them. And I think that's I think it's really good. It's an 800 power engine, 9x9x3. Nine by nine by it's quite quite compact, given the high level of efficiency. Of course, I wasn't done with that. Now, this is the original design that I tried to copy. As you can see, there are some superchargers slapped on there, which improved the low-end efficiency. However, the high-end efficiency wasn't very good, and you can see why I wanted to slap inline turbochargers on there. So I figured, why why have to, uh, the supercharger there when you could have an inline turbocharger? That's where the idea originally came from. Taking the idea I came up with for these engines, I decided to apply them to smaller engines. So here we have a 200 power micro engine where we have superchargers slapped on for improved low end efficiency. But just look at these numbers 380 at the lowest and 357 at the highest. It's a very consistent engine. Um, and the same rule applies. Now, the exhaust, uh, to get the same effect in such a small space, I had to kind of rewire. Uh, re repipe the exhausting uh, because just the most efficient uh, piping I could find where this loops directly round back into itself and everything else just comes down it results in one less um, exhaust it for some reason didn't produce the same effect so and even with the re the redoing this it's in 600 and 169 exhaust gases even though it's drawing from three turbochargers of it initially. So the inline turbocharger here is actually getting less than it does on um, on those ones. Still, it's a it provides some very excellent numbers, and this is effectively just a doubling of this one, which is the first one where which I first came up with. It is a 200, 100 power engine, even I think. Yeah, 100 power engine, absolutely tiny. I mean, I I think uh, Ruger does designs like that, and they call them uh, micro 100s, uh, which is what I've saved them as in my prefab name. Uh, Prefabs, yeah, high RPM, micro 100, micro 200. Just, it makes sense as a good name. But this thing is absolutely minuscule, but the numbers it punches out for fuel efficiency are huge. I mean, this isn't just a cylinder and a, and a carburetor and an engine and a, and a crankshaft. That, then you know, uh, that would be very, very, very small and even better. But this thing, I mean, accommodating for an engine this side is is not hard for a plane or something. You stick that on, and there you go. You're laughing. You're flying, or or if you have a slightly larger plane, you stick this on. Again, you're laughing. Or you could just stick two of these in like a slightly separate location. So if one gets blown up, it can still fly. Uh, I think these are excellent engines, to be honest with you. Uh, the best way to build them, really, is uh, the exhaust always comes out to the black bit. You can see the pipe. It comes out. The exhaust comes out there, and you'll just direct them into the inline turbocharger. Um, the reason these don't pull quite the same numbers is because they have two turbochargers exhausts flowing into one inline turbocharger, whereas this, uh, whereas these designs have three inline turbochargers, um, three turbochargers flowing into one inline turbocharger. Bit different. So that is it for my design. I'm going to attempt to make more improvements uh, overall. I feel like we're moving. Why are we moving? Or are we just moving back and forth? Yeah, so I'm going to attempt to make the, uh, make some more improvements. Uh, I might see about sticking this where the supercharger is currently, and sticking yet another um, in uh, another normal turbocharger here. But that would change its dimensions in ways I don't think would really be acceptable. So well, we'll see about that. But this is what I have for now, and I think these numbers are quite fantastic. So 357, 348, 380. So it's technically most efficient. Uh, at 10% um, and um, slightly more efficient at 100% and its least efficient point is kind of 50% but look how straight that line is, that's fantastic I mean, if I go over here uh, if I go over here alright, so we get curved line up that way now I go over here now this one that's quite the quite the bump. So midway really, really gains a lot of efficiency. Uh, this is the very first one. It will have slightly different curve, but again, but only by the tiniest of amounts. And this one, uh, which is the original design I tweaked and came up with, which I think has got the strangest of uh, curves, because it's just it pretty much gets all the way up as up to what it needs to, like 75% and it gets a little bit more after that, which is kind of cool, really. So different response plots for different engines, but this one's so consistent, you know, you need more power, there you go, direct. So it's, uh, 
though those are my engine designs i hope you guys enjoyed them uh if you want to download this platform i will stick a workshop link in the description so you can fiddle these engines yourselves uh there is just some very basic resource gathering uh fuel and the refinery on board as you saw earlier i'm going to adjust this and have more of these stacks so that when you spawn it in if it spawn in, spawns in too low and blow up on you like it did in the middle of the video <laughs> beginning of the video even and uh, that shall be it from me I will see about making more of these kinds of videos and I hope you enjoyed this one let me know if you want more leave a like or something um, or leave a comment telling me that you want more of these things and I shall see you guys next time bye bye